Mexa. Today we really do appreciate it. We really are thankful that you guys come in on on uh, every couple of weeks to, to join us and learn a little bit more about Maxa, the products that we have. Just so you all know, Charlie Montoya, uh, Director of Sales for our UC products and the IFP products. We have Sam Malik. <laughs> Sam Malik is our VP of Sales and Marketing. And then, of course, we have Jessica. Hello, <laughs> Marketing Coordinator. Yes. Jessica is our van of white. Who's that? Oh, oh, no. Okay, yeah. moving on. Okay. And we all just feel really old all of us. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so welcome to the webinar. Uh, today we're going to talk about LED and LED walls and, and try and uh, clear up some some buzzwords and things like that. So really happy to join. Charlie's been bugging me going, <laughs> hey, I'm doing all the webinars. When, uh, when are you going to do one? So you may be familiar with me. I'm Sam Malik, um, a grandfather of the AV industry, I guess, at this point. They made me an SCN Hall of Fame member, there and I go. just think it means I'm really old. Uh, yeah. I've been doing this for way too long. Um, but, you know, I'm like Rapa Room. I could see a couple of you out there are a little bit older than me, so I don't feel too bad. So, uh, especially somebody down in Florida that might be joining us, uh, remain nameless. Anyway, Jessica, why don't we go ahead and, and move on? Actually, let me touch on one thing. Yep. Hey, folks, just so you know, during the during this um, uh, the webinar, please, if you have any questions, message us in chat, message us in the Q and A. Yep. We will answer them live. So as we see them come through, we'll try and make sure we answer them as we go. So yep. just want to remind that. Go for it. All right. So we're talking LED today, and there's a whole lot of buzzwords and, and information. And obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about Max Hub, but I want to try and fill in the blanks. So we've got custom LEDs, all-in-one, flip chip, outdoor, pixel pitch, DV LED, cob. What's a cob? Corn on the cob? No. Chip on board and flip chip are pretty much the same. And so I'll talk to the different technologies that we offer and try and answer some of these questions for you. So, you know, the traditional LED walls usually require a lot of gear, and we do offer those walls as well. But you're looking at the LED wall themselves, the panels that you bolt together and, and have to mount to a structure to the wall. There is usually a, a scaler, a controller, a video feed, a computer. So it, it requires, you know, a more complex installation, wiring, and, and somebody to operate it, right? Plus, you usually need a rack or something to mount all the gear in. And... We've got a better solution for that. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. So the first thing we'll talk about is all-in-one. And MaxHub has a great lineup of all-in-one products. They range from 120-inch size, 120-inch diagonal, all the way up to 220-inch diagonal. So, you know, 120, 138, 150, et cetera, all the way up. And these are really, you can think of a, kind of like a big TV set because Everything is self-contained. There's no other separate controllers or boxes required, only the source of the material that you're gonna feed into that. And you can do it a couple different ways. You can have HDMI input. Um, you can do bring your own device uh, sharing uh, and there's screen share available as well. So it really makes it simple. Um, I've been in the projector industry for quite a while and and you know projectors were subject to, you know we've got, um, fluorescent lighting overhead right now, uh, running over in, the, in this room, or side windows, or you know, maybe a beautiful view off your conference room. And that always affected the image on the screen. These all-in-one displays are all self-contained. And so it doesn't matter what the lighting in the room is. Uh, we rarely run them at 100% brightness. You can, of course, but they'll operate in any environment and there's no lamps to change. There's no filters to clean. Um, just a lot easier operation. There we go. So we call our all-in-one the Raptor series. Um, so they're, they're, they're very versatile. Um, they're all-in-one functionality, again, like a big TV. They're fairly lightweight, depending on the size. They're extremely thin. So they're ADA compliant. They're only 1.2 inches deep. That includes the mount, which is included with the display as well. So from the flat of the wall to the flat front surface of the display, then it's 1.2 inches deep complete. So it makes it fully ADA compliant. It looks nice. Um, some people build soffits around them and enclose them. We just need a little gap on top for them to breathe a little bit, uh, to exhale the, the little bit of heat that they generate. But it really gives you a lot of flexibility, whether it gets used in a in a public environment or a museum or something like that, house of worship, or whether it be in a, in a conference room. So, 
Sam, do you mind asking a question? So I look at these, and I've seen it. These are gorgeous, right? We got we got a couple behind us right here, right? What I see is a lot of people are moving away from the projectors, right? And, and they can only be put in certain locations, certain lighting, all that kind of fun stuff. With these, it really allows you to put them almost anywhere nowadays, right? I mean, it's much more functional than it was in the past. You know, over the years, I've done a ton of business with House of Worship yeah. installs. And because they all have windows, sometimes stained glass or otherwise, the light was already always a factor. Right. And, and then on top of it, if they had public seating, rows of seating yeah. or whatever, in order to service projector, you had to move the seating, bring in a lift, depending on how high up in the air it was, climb up there, change the lamps, which are not cheap, you right. know, $500 each or whatever. Then you had to clean the filters, got to clean the lens, <laughs> and you had to do this every three to six months. Wow. And so not only the cost of replacing those things, but it was just a hassle, you know, when you got to move your furniture. Right. So now, I mean, you can see these walls running with direct fluorescent lighting over the right. top. About as nasty as it could possibly get. And, and the other part that I like about that I'll say this in, is, and I used to use projectors a lot. You know, when I do presentations, you walk in front of the projector, and now you got you got your your silhouette on the screen. Right? Exactly. So you got all those problems. Well, the presenter running. is blinded. Yeah. Right. Yep. So you got the light shining directly in your eyes, and then your shadow is yep. going to be behind you. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep. So this makes it a lot easier. And I mean, we can even go a step further. We got a podium here in the background that can be your confidence monitor. You can run your presentation, have it appear on the screen. Uh, but that's a whole other problem. That's a whole well, I, but you know, let me I touch on one part because I actually heard this at, when I was at Borman and, and they were telling me that projectors, how often do you change a projector? Every three years, every four years, somewhere that three to four years. How, how often do you think you, you'd actually if you put in a, one of these so I've, I've calculated it. Okay. If you run full brightness, right percent, it'll run a hundred thousand hours. Okay. A hundred thousand hours if you go eight hours a day, right? 365, right? It's 31 and a half years. So okay. <laughs> there will be new technology <laughs> that you can replace it with before that happens. So then 10 years is, is a good uh, is a simplified say 10 hey, to look, 12 years, 10 to absolutely 12 years. no question. So it's right. it's less maintenance, easier to use, longer, longer uh, life expectancy of it as well. So it just makes sense. I mean, not counting the labor time, but you know, lamps and filters alone, you're right. gonna spend Twelve to fifteen hundred dollars a year minimum, yeah. right? Yeah. And if you do it twice a year, you're looking at three grand a year. So times ten years, thirty thousand well, dollars. And the reason why I asked is I was shocked because we've actually had some big deals that we've won out of from schools, right? K through twelve public schools yeah. that have changed out projectors and then now go with DVLEDs. But you hear this and you go like, I get it. I totally get that. We, now. We've got schools in Brooklyn that are. Are taking that stage where the kids do the, the Christmas concert, right? Yeah. And they're lining that whole back wall with the 220 inch LED. Yeah. So on on cold or snow days or whatever, yeah. or just presentations, right? They use that entire wall to either entertain the kids, keep right. them occupied, or to make a presentation to you know family so, groups or whatever. And and once again, let me ask one other question. Just because it came up at four minutes, you know me, I'm not a DV LED guy. I'm just learning stuff about it, right? Sure. So but I, I used to, you know, in the past, I, I might have frequent a bar or two. And, and, you know, you have you have the large walls where they have like eight different monitors that are all independent of one another kind of tied together. But when I look at those compared to this, this is more cost effective solution, right? I mean, one of those TVs go out and now you put another TV in its place. You're having to replace the whole system. The, the problem with LCDs or TVs yeah. that they put in the bars is that. If you're if you're racking and stacking or putting a group together, two by two or three by three, usually they become unwiped out. Right. And so one will be darker, one will be lighter, and then the image doesn't look right, even though it's a, a complete image. Right. So with an LED, everything is smooth, everything is even all the way through. Yeah. Um, I'll talk about one of our, our restaurant bar installs in a little bit when we talk about custom, but yeah, it, it gives a much better image, easier to maintain overall. Cool. So Okay. All right, so let's go on to the next one. So the cool thing about this is it's multiple inputs. So even though it's it's kind of like a TV, you got three HDMI in, you got one HDMI out, so you can feed it to another wall or back to a, a monitor where you can see what's going on off-site. You've got a couple of USB inputs. You can hardware serial it so that if you want to run it from a control room remotely, you can turn the unit on and off and have a certain amount of control to it. You can, uh, you know, picture in picture screen, picture by picture. You can have four windows operating at once. I talked about our screen sharing software. So you can bring your own device, whether it be a phone or a tablet or a PC. Um, you enter the on-screen code. 
and you can share your content wirelessly direct to the to the screen. So if you're in a sales meeting or something like that, it's easy for people to share content and jump from one presenter to the next presenter all the way through. So even though it's all in one, you have no limitations to what you can feed into it content wise, and it makes it really pretty simple. So you don't need an AV person to run this wall like you might with some of the other uh, products I'll talk about. We have one question. Um, someone asked, can we install an HDMI receiver behind it? So there's, because it's only one point, that's a very good question. Uh, so can we install devices behind it? Because we're 1.2 inches deep off the wall, there's not a lot of space. However, in the past, on some past installs, customers wanted to do that. We recommend a recessed outlet, three and a half inch recessed outlet, so we can hide all the electrical wires. And if you're doing recessed boxes or panels, you would cut a hole in the wall and then you can fit any kind of HDMI device that you want into it and you should plug it into a network. So yes, you can do it. Requires a little bit of planning when we install it, that's all. Great. So um, you can mount these in a couple different ways. Um, ceiling mount are what we call flying the wall and we build a special structure and that hangs on a cable. We did that at Infocom last year to demonstrate how it could be done. Um, you can put it on a stand um, I kind of initially when we got into this, I didn't believe that people would spend seventy or eighty thousand dollars on a wall and then want to roll it around, right. you know, because it's kind of expensive. But actually, uh, University of Florida is doing this. They move them from classroom to classroom, and it's working out uh, quite well for them. They've had no damage, no incident. But I was just a little surprised. Yeah. You know, you buy a Ferrari, um, you're going to take the Ferrari down to Walmart, or are you <laughs> going to, you know, but. But they actually do it and it works out quite well. And then I would say 85, 90% of the time, it's a wall mount. And everything you need comes in the box to wall mount it. So it's got the mounting bars, which I'm going to show you. It comes with the actual tools. It comes with the mollies to bolt it to a standard drywall. I mean, gloves even that you wear when you put the tiles in. So um, all these different sizes. And if you wall mount it, to give you an idea, uh, a custom wall might take a day and a half, two days. An all-in-one, even up to the 220 inch, we can install it start to finish in about four and a half hours. So it's it's really more economical yep. to yeah. install it. Yeah, we actually, I saw a picture. We actually did one on cinder block. Yeah, we right? had down in Oklahoma, yeah. a police department uses it for their police training yeah. facility. And, uh, and we mounted on cinder block, which, Takes a little bit of a different bolt. We had to go down to Home Depot and buy uh, some different uh, mollies, but yeah, we were able to do that. It just, you know, it took us a little bit more time, more drilling the pre-hole right. where we put it in, and it, it worked out quite well. It's amazing. So, you know, these things are really easy to service as well, and this goes for our custom as well as our all-in-one, but the all-in-ones are really simple. So, when you purchase a wall from MaxUp, we include 8% spare tiles yeah. because we want the, the diodes, the LED, have to all be from the same batch originally so that we don't get any discoloring or shading. And when we pop out a tile, I'll show you in a minute, it automatically color balances itself. So when we talked about the TVs, yeah. when you put them in an array and they don't balance and they look, you can see one's darker or lighter. These tiles self-calibrate themselves. So I'll, I'll give you an example here. We try not to let customers do this very much, but this is how easy it is. This is the magnet and it's included with it. And there's a panel behind. So we go and we find the panel and we can pull the tile off just like that. So we ship 8% spare tiles with the walls. So we can always swap them out. You always have diodes that match. And it's very easy. As you can see, I've got the missing tile. I did it with the wall running, which in 20 years ago, we would have never pulled out <laughs> electronics with it running. Right. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to put it back in. We get it lined up. We put it in place. Sometimes you'll see it pixelate while it's thinking. Yep. And it's telling you other tiles, hey, I'm this tile, and I want to work with you. And then it balances itself out. Yep. So you, that. Yep. you never have the white balance issues. Very easy to, to service. and and support, so it, it makes it really easy. And this goes for whether it be our custom or our all-in-one, right. um, it, it all works the same way. Now, also, can I just touch on that point? Because it was a great question that I had actually had when I was at, at Borman's was, we give you the 8%, right? right? Did Borman pay for advertising? <laughs> I, I didn't mention that. I mentioned a couple times. Borman, 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 no. Uh, but, 
So, that, so when we did the event, one thing that was interesting is we give you 8%, right? But then we also have the warranty that goes along with it, right? So can you explain how the, the two kind of combine? Absolutely. So we have a five-year warranty on, on our LED products. Um, it includes, there's a, there's, we actually ship 8% spare tiles. The backboard, which you'll see go up in a minute when we show you a video, we give you a spare three-in-one board as well. Right. So actually you've got a complete set of electronics to support that wall for its life. Right. And then all of that is locally serviced. We have a service center in Dallas that turns things around usually in a week or less. They're pretty quick about it. And then they return it so your spares go back into your spare tile allotment or the, the back plane board. Um, the all-in-ones I failed to mention, they have built-in audio. So you have a 30-watt amplifier and dual speakers. You have the USB and the HDMI inputs as well. You can run it via the remote or use our Max config software, and you can run it off your phone or a tablet or anything like that. So these are about as easy to operate. I mean, even easier than a projector from yeah. the old days, right? Yeah. So uh, they've made it really simple. Um, Sam, could you quickly, I want to stop sharing my screen because apparently it was hard to see you remove. Could you remove that one more time? Hmm. Just, I feel like that's, it was cool to see. So sure. full screen for that. Oh, they, they asked for it? Yeah. yeah. By, by request. Oh, Wes. See here. And I like watching that too. It's cool. So pull the tile out. You hit it with the magnet. Slide it off so mm -hmm. we don't damage the pixels. The biggest thing about replacing tiles is the pixels butt up next to each other. So when I very first started handling these, right. my hands are a little rough and I scraped about eight pixels off and one of my coworkers was like, oh, you just damaged the tile. So you want to kind of pinch them and be gentle with them. This metal plate on the back of the circuit board is actually where the magnet is grabbing onto. And so I'm going to pop it back in right now. So you notice the rest of the wall keeps working the entire time. We're going to line it up and then it will color balance itself automatically to the rest of the tiles. So once in a while, you see the little pixelation dots appear, and that takes about 90 seconds. Yep. And then it'll cycle through, and it'll smooth out, and it's it's very simple. And, and I'll tell you the one interesting part about this, and, and you know, I'll just add to it. One thing that I learned when, I, when we were putting these up at Infocom was that these are already pre-configured before you get them, right? They've already been pre-built before you get them, and then they take them down, and they everything is numbered. So you literally just go in the number line for right. the installation. And that way it turns on perfectly. Label, all labeled, numbered, exactly. But even if you were maybe a person that wasn't so so smart at it and you put them in a wrong order in some way, it will simply take, sit down, recalibrate itself, will take a minute or two, and then we'll come back on perfectly, right? So, so the system knows if the tiles are put out of order. It remembers the tile order originally, and that's why we number them. But yeah, if you put them in backwards or start in the middle and, and finish at the end, It'll automatically figure it out. It takes about two minutes, yeah. and then it'll reset and then remember those tiles where they're at. It's really amazing technology, right? It, it's just, very it's simple. simple, right? I mean, for the, once again, the novice like me who not really know a whole lot about this, I could put one of these up. So. Yeah. There we go. All right, we'll go to the next one. So I'm not going to read through all these specs, but these are all our different sizes of all-in-one. The one at the very bottom, the LM220A18, that is actually a true 4K 220-inch wall, and we will show that at Infocom. So we can run pure 4K content. The cool thing about this, this all of these walls is they have a built-in scaler, so you can feed it 8K or 4K, and it'll scale it down to 1080. Yeah. So in the case of this 220A18, it's a true 4K wall. Um, we don't pursue the residential market, but we've had a couple home installs of these walls. Yeah. Obviously, you've got to have a few dollars to spend <laughs> to put this in. Um, yeah. But you know, my son keeps asking me, well, how come we don't have a 180 in the house, Dad? Well, <laughs> because your dad works for a living. That's why. You know. So a um, lot of capability. We're going to show you an install. This is a quick version of it that we put in. Um, I think this is a 120 inch wall. So the two crossbars are the most important part that they're perfectly level in space. Then we start hanging the, the group walls onto it and bolt them together. And then we'll start populating those group walls with tiles. So you can see the walls start to light up as they put it together. So there was five panels that went into this one and then we interlock them together. We add the power supply at the bottom. And then we, uh, you know, I'll hook up the audio, et cetera, and then we cycle through it. Usually when we install it, um, the, the cool thing about it is, and you can, you can hit that again if you want and play through it, but um, 
our service people go on site to supervise the install. And we do this at no additional charge. We want every wall we put out there to be perfect every single time, right? So um, Jason Sees is our senior technical manager. He does an outstanding job and we train and certify our dealer partners after multiple installs to become certified installers and they can go on themselves. So a lot of companies charge what they call a commissioning fee. And that they charge anywhere from three to $15,000 to send a guy on site to stand there with his hands in his pockets and observe right. the input. Um, we go way beyond that, including our price is somebody coming out on site, working with uh, your dealer partner to install it, install it correctly, certify them if they're not certified yet. And then the last thing that we do before we leave the customer site is whoever the key AV person is, um, Jason spends 20, 30 minutes with them and walks them through the operation of the wall. This is how you get in the menu, this is how you load content, here's all the different connections and making sure that they're comfortable knowing how it operates before we walk away. And a lot of companies don't do that, yeah. right? They, they send them the crates and the boxes and they're like, hey, good luck, go figure it out. Um, you know, we've got a lot of competitors in the industry. And so we're like, how do we set ourselves apart? How do we be different? And, and we wanna make sure every install is perfect. We want to make sure that the customer is happy and they know how to operate the, the equipment. We want them to understand our service and warranty program. So what does it take to get service? What do I have to do? How does it work and all that? And, you know, if we have any problem on an install, it's usually during install right. where somebody like me will, <laughs> will scrape a couple of pixels off and we, we grab one of the spares, we replace that, and then we, we get that unit service and we're uh, sent back to them. So that's where Maxim goes above and beyond. And, and we have somebody on site. We're not the installer. We're there to supervise it. Um, our people don't stand there with their hands in their pockets. They get very involved, but but we're not the installer. We have to be clear about that. That's the dealer's responsibility. Um, we're a channel-centric company, meaning that everything we do goes through professional um, system installers or dealers, if you will, in the market. We work closely with a select group of people that understand the technology understand what it takes to work on a customer site and, and clean up after yourself and, and make sure the install is clean and the cables are tucked away and everything is done properly. And then the last thing, making sure they know how to operate it when we leave, right? A lot less questions after the fact. Right. And actually, let me ask Ed, one thing that starts before all that, the pre-install, right? Jason is very, very involved and our team is very involved. So one, make sure we're providing the right code, making sure that everybody knows exactly what's required before we even get on site. I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard that the help that, that, that our team did for the, re, the reseller and the customer before they got there helped the installation go so smoothly and simple. It's a right? really good point. Yeah. So it's almost as important as the install yeah. itself, right? Yeah. Is that two or three weeks out, sometimes more, Jason gets called in and said, hey, here's a customer they're looking to install this here. And we wanna know, okay, what's the room look like? Um, what type of wall is it? Is it cinder block like you mentioned before, <laughs> which was a surprise to us, but we were able to do it. Uh, is it is it drywall? Are, are they wood studs or aluminum studs? Are there any local code that we have to make sure that we adhere to? Where is the electrical? Is it the right right voltage, right amperage? Different size walls have different power requirements. And when we install a wall, we'll generally burn it in for two hours at full white which is the maximum brightness that we can pull out of it. And if there's any voltage or amperage issues, that's where we start to see issues and we test for that. So when we do the pre-work, the pre-install worksheet, it's a two or three page worksheet he does. Um, we answer all those questions. We also work, walk the end user customer and the dealer through where's the optimal place to place the power. Yeah. What are you gonna feed it as far as a signal? Typically, and then maybe not typically, where you're going to feel right. a signal. And we try and anticipate those things. That way, when we show up on site to do the actual install, everything is smooth. Um, down to the crates are about this big. <laughs> do you have a freight elevator? How are we going to get this stuff up to the seventh right. floor to install it and, and all that sort of thing? So um, great team. They do a really good job working through the, the pre-work. And that just makes that install go so much smoother. Um, it takes us. Generally, what happens is if we went from a five-hour to an eight-hour install is because the pre-work didn't get done right. as he had specced out. And, and we find that occasionally where the power didn't meet the spec, right? right? And we have to then adjust for it. So 
Good point. So custom LED, uh, that was all all in one and, and very simple, very easy. And it fits about 50% of the customers. All in one is a, is a great fit, you know, whether it be uh, house of worship, we've done a lot of museums, we've done casinos, uh, we've done a lot of corporate boardrooms, kind of like the, the one that you saw in the quick build. Um, so it, it fits a lot of different places. We've done a lot of advertising billboards and in uh, airports and things like that. So any public spaces, we're seeing quite a bit right now. Now, when we switch to, to custom LED, custom means tiles, right? And tiles that we can bolt together. We can make any size, any dimension, any shape. We can, we can wrap around walls 90 degrees in, 90 degrees out. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit of that. But this requires an external controller. So now you don't have all that internal built-in scaler and, and video processor and all that stuff. Now we have to go external because the walls are usually odd in shape and size or much bigger, right? And so it requires more processing power to deliver. And usually the bigger walls, we want to deliver multiple content in a single wall. Right. So a Novastar, which is it's uh, not a Mac sub company. Novastar is one of the, the most recognized video processor controller companies for LED walls out there. It's kind of the gold standard. Um, many of our dealers and SIs out there are Novastar certified and they've worked with them many times. So they're comfortable because they know how to operate and program it, right? So here's a, a video. This is one of our dealer locations. And this is about every type of LED you could possibly imagine. If you look up along the top, it's a ticker. And that's a 90 degree in and a 90 degree out. Um, we can do that. There's one of our all-in-ones there on the left. Uh, you see the LED floor uh, lighting up on the, on the bottom. You see a 3D shape in the back, 3D head. Uh, that's all done with LED tiles. In the middle, there's a cob display. So every flavor that you're looking for, this is a good example of so many different applications of, of LED. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, this is a showroom uh, company called Agility AVL in Las Vegas. And as you know, Las Vegas is LED signs, yeah. right? So yeah. I think other than Times Square, it's probably the number one consumption of, of LED. So um, they've got a great showroom there to show every possible type of application that could be done. So we're going to talk a little bit more about custom LED. And this is the front and back of a, a, a 16 by 9. And there you see the little pin sticking up on top. That's where the panels slide together and, and register. And then we they have flip locks on them. So they actually lock themselves together. And we can stack and rack these in any shape or size that you're looking for. And 90 degree out, 90 degree in. Uh, we can do a, a three degree curve. So if they're looking for a curve type wall, um, there's all kinds of different sizes. So our M27 series, it's our, our model number for it. Um, it's, it only weighs about just a little over 10 pounds per panel. Um, they're, they're aluminum chassis. And it's, again, 1.2 inches thick. These cabinets happen to be 16 by 9. And so depending on, you know, the size of the event, we plan the number of panels. But because each one of these is an individual panel that we have to connect to, this is why we've used a Novastar controller that has multiple I.O. built into it to be able to address each one of these panels. So we can play content on a single panel or we can play the content on all the panels that are bolted together and give them any kind of image. So we're building a wall on the East Coast right now. It's, it's a new restaurant and bar like you were talking about. And they, they didn't want to go with the traditional LCD TV type of screens. And so they want an LED wall. The LED wall we're building, it's the biggest wall we've built to date. It's 12 feet high and 48 feet wow. long. 48 feet 48 long. Feet One long. Conti continuous wall. And the cool thing is that we had to go to Novastar's top top processor to, to do it, an H8 enhanced, it's called, because they want to have 15 different video feeds, yeah. and they might show one feed on the whole wall, right? or they might break it down to 15 different channels or, or right. games, if you will, or events that they're going to play on the screen. That's awesome. Um, we're looking forward to completing that. Yeah. It's, it's in construction right now. Uh, it'll be a real show place. Um, follow our social media, which Jessica is responsible for. We'll have video posted of it, but massive wall. Now, let me ask you this. Obviously, make a lot of great walls. We got custom walls. You got all these kind of things. 
but we really build walls for installation, right? For installed applications, not things that are going to be moving around. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, there's a rental and staging market. And if you've been to a concert recently, you'll see a lot of LED video in the, in the background. And those are a different type of wall because they get bounced around a lot. Yeah. So they go into ATA cases and, and, and then they roll them from one venue to the next venue and put them up and take them down and, and they take a pretty good beating. For the most part, those are uh, usually outdoor walls right. that get used on an indoor environment because the outdoor stuff is much more resilient, right? right? It can take splashes or rain or cold or hot or, or whatever. Um, so we were more hardcore install stuff that's going to be in a fixed location. We've done some rental and staging apps, but that's not our our target market. That's where not where we're focused on. Yeah. Not that we can't do it, but it's mm -hmm. not where we're at. And there's some good companies out there that do a great job in that and, and good for them. But we do a lot more corporate marketplace. Um, there's a very large group of telephone stores right now that's looking to put a video wall in every one of their 2000 stores across the country. Right. right? right. So those types of projects are where we really excel. Right. They're going to use an all in one because it's simple and it's easy right. and they like the serviceability of it. Plus, they don't want to have to have an AV person on site to program and run the wall. So the all-in-one makes sense. Yep. And they can download content through the internet and change it every day if they want. Yep. So makes sense. Yeah. Right. We good, have a few um, questions and comments. One, Steve so wanted to say it's 1.3 pounds, just to clarify. 1.3. All right. Good point. Thanks, Steve. That is much lighter. And then we have a question. Can they be shipped? Um, maybe, let's say, to Africa, other continents? Um, and is there a discount if you bought, if you buy a lot of them? Um, we have a number of global customers. In fact, I'll, I'll show you a list of our global customers in, in a little bit near the end. Um, so we we ship all over the world. So if it's not the U.S. office, we'll introduce them. You know, a lot of times, like let's I'll, I'll pick a company, not necessarily our customer, but let's say Coca Cola, which is obviously global worldwide, or Apple Computer or something, and so we would service all their North America, South American offices out of here. But if there's a European factor, we'll assign our European team to that. If there's an Asian factor, we'll assign our, our Asia um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. people to, to address that. So we will support you on a global basis. We have a lot of global customers right now. Yeah. Okay. I, I would tell the, the user that said that reach out to us. You'll have all, all of our contact information at the end of this. Mm -hmm. Feel free, reach out to us. If we can't help you here locally, we'll make sure we get the right people to, to get in contact with you. To support and the, you. the last part of that question was uh, pricing. So. Yes. Um, there are volume considerations. So people are going to buy a number of walls. So the big phone company I talked about, mm -hmm. if they buy 2,000 walls, yes, they will receive some sort of discount for 2,000 yeah. walls. And so we work with the reseller. Um, you know, we have a policy. We never, ever sell direct because we think the resellers can manage that relationship much better than we can. And there's a lot of big companies that already have those corporate relationships. And we respect that. So we want to be a supplier, but we don't want to be a direct vendor, right? So we provide a high level of support, but everything we do goes through our, our dealer channel because they are really the professionals with the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, All right. So M27, whether you want a 2K, 4K, 8K visual, depending on the, the size and the number of pixels, we can accommodate that. Very high contrast ratio. Refresh rate is, is fantastic. So you're going to get great images all the time. And really important is the, the viewing angle. So 170 degree viewing angle means if you think of a movie theater with two, 300 seats in it, if this was the screen, everybody, regardless where they sit, is going to be able to see it very well. Whether you're high up looking down or you're off in the, in the sides, left to right, um, you're going to have a great viewing angle. So LED just... It makes sense oh, yeah. today in so oh, many yeah. installations. I don't think projectors are ever going away. There will always be a place <laughs> for them. But but this has, now that the prices of LED have become much more reasonable, this is taking a lot of what used to be projector business years ago. Yeah, makes sense. So our GH31, this is another series of, of product that we sell. This is a four by three cabinet. And I know your TV is not four by three anymore or your PC or anything, but depending on the size of the environment that we have to build in, um, a four by three might make more sense if we were wrapping a column in a shopping mall or something like that, mm -hmm. rather than a 16 by nine so that 
we can get the curve or the angle that we're looking for. So we've got a number of different sizes and shape, uh, depending on what the customer needs, whether it be indoor or outdoor application, we can fit. Um, so uh, yeah, this is the four by three ratio. Again, lightweight, small, uh, you know, easy to put together cabinets. So works worked very well together. Number of different, these are just different applications. Um, exhibition, we're in a couple different, we're in a couple zoos and a couple museums right now. Um, and they love it because it's zero maintenance and they don't care what the lighting is because right. those are usually well lit. Um, lobbies and entryways, there's some big movie companies, uh, their corporate offices where I've put in LED walls already. And, and that's the first thing you see when you walk in showing their content and all that type of thing. Um, retail, it's crazy, but we're doing a lot of retail application and install now with both LED and our IFP the products. Right. Um, so getting a lot of exposure there. Um, and then auditoriums is an obvious place. You know, we do a lot, not so much with, um, we do education, like you mentioned, some grade schools, but we do a lot with higher education, yeah. right? So if you think of when everybody went to college or university and, and you had the big auditorium and, and either the dusty chalkboard or a projector that never looked right, right. Um, they're putting these in the front right now. Right. And, and it makes a world of difference. People can see the content and, and you can just demonstrate a whole lot more. It definitely makes a lot of sense. So these are the Novastar controllers. Wow. Um, so this is what it takes to control <laughs> a big wall. Yeah. Um, the one in the bottom right, this 600 inch diagonal, the 48 foot right. wall, we're actually gonna use four of these right. to control that. And they can be ganged or, or chained together um, to process the signal through, but we've got to feed all those different panels yeah. and be able to control them individually. And this has the brains and capability. Novastar has been doing this, I think, more than 15 years, and they are they're the standard, right? I mean, they they know what they're doing. Max have actually built our own controller for a while, and we finally said, let's just use Novastar because that's what the SIs and the dealers want to do, right? That's what they're comfortable with. Um, very reliable gear. A uh, very good company to work with. We're back, very happy to be partnered with them. So, so you know, what do you look for, right? When you're you're choosing LED company, obviously the name is Max Up, right? But um, does the company design and build their own products? You know, Max Up builds their own gear. Um, is the product in stock? Can you? Is it available for quick delivery on the all-in-one product? I have a couple dealers that want to take the order on Monday and install it on Thursday because the customer's in a hurry and that's it. They want it in stock and they want to get it right now. You know, a lot of electronics have chip issues these days and there's 12, 16, 20 week yeah. delays. We keep the product in stock. Now custom is built custom order. So you're looking at 45 days plus to get that, but we can do it very reliably. It's right? amazing how, how we can get, get an order and process it and ship it out. For something as big as a 220 inch, right? I mean, the 600 inch wall, yeah. the 48 footer, yeah. we built and delivered in 48 days, start to finish, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, you know, CBT is our parent company and uh, they've got access to all the raw materials that we need. Yep. And uh, we build product and deliver it fast um, so we can make it happen. Um, th does the company, does the LED company you're looking at, provide no charge pre and post sale service and technical support? So, doing that pre-work like you mentioned before it even gets installed, being on site and no additional cost to the dealer or the customer to help make sure the installation goes smoothly. That's all part of the Max Up program, right? There's no extra additional cost for it. Um, is there equipment service or repair locally? So all of our repairs are done here in the US based on Dell, so, right? And they turn it fast. If it's hot, we can turn it in a day, but usually within a week or so, they can do the repair and then return it to your, your stock, right, right? But if we call them up and tell them it's on fire, it's got to happen right now, it happens, right, instantly. Um, Five-year warranty. Five years, uh, a, a very strong warranty, virtually warranty on the LED products. All of our other LCD products have a three-year on-site hot swap yep. warranty. So on our IFPs and our digital signage product. So five-year on the LED. We know it's a reliable product. Once it's installed and it's running like this one is 100% behind us, we don't worry about it. Right. And so that's why it's easy for us to do a five-year warranty because we know 
And long as somebody doesn't throw a basketball at it or something, <laughs> yeah. we're good. Okay. Throw a basketball at it. Go up the great take... school in Brooklyn. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but take your fingers up against and scratch them. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you. Mentioning the school, I will tell you a story that I heard real quick, and I'll get back to it. Story that I heard at Foreman, uh, <laughs> where they sat there and said that they had a school that was buying a 220 inch DV LED for their auditorium only for the reason of doing plays. They have plays that happen on a regular basis. And the rental for the props for the plays that they normally have, right. $2,000 per show. Oh, $2,000 per so show. So they can just do it with video. All my props are on video now. That's All I got to do is the costumes, right? So they're like, within a year and a half, we've already paid for that. Once you, 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 don't, start, you don't think about these things, right? You right. really don't think about that. But then I heard that. I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. That, I, I'm like, we, we need to put that in a, in a marketing head. Like, we're, we're number one in Bismarck. We're in a hockey rink. They yeah, want a 120 inch display and they use it for the scoreboard. Yeah. And they just feed the, all the scores and everything via video. It's amazing. And it was a much cheaper solution than buying an actual scoreboard. Oh, right? yeah. And it installed faster yeah. too. So. Um, so five-year warranty, I mentioned the 8% spare LED tiles. That's all included in purchase price. Um, you know, so Maxim does all of that, right? So we're a very good company to work with. We're channel-centric. We built a really good product, very reliable. Um, you know, we, we do it right, right from the start. So, you know, you and I were talking about a lot of our team is tenured. They've yeah. been around here in the AV industry in the U.S. for a long time. Um, they know how to communicate effectively with all of our customers. We know the right questions to ask to make sure that the install and the final product, what they're expecting, meets their needs, yeah. exceeds their needs yeah. every time. So, you know, by by trying to do it right in the marketplace, um, it's 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 the right way to go. Well, and to that point, right? I would say this as well. I, I've talked to a lot of people, and, and because once again, Max, we have so many different products. And that cross-pollination that I see starting to happen in a lot of companies where, hey, they're a UC company, and they're like, oh, but I can do DVLED now because I'm working with Maxo. We have that experience. We have that background. We have our, our sales team that's out there, our engineering team that's there to help you understand what's going on and what's happening and the right questions to ask to help you with that project. And I would also say this, and once again, this is just a sales guy coming out, compare our pricing to our competitors. Yeah. You, you're going to be extremely satisfied, extremely satisfied. Very and, competitive. Yeah, extremely competitive price. And we start going competitive price, phenomenal five-year warranty, right? 8% replacements, gorgeous product that's going to compete with anybody across the board. Right. It's almost almost that question again of why anything else but Max? So why would you go anywhere else, right? So we really try and give it all to our, our best new customers are, are dealers who maybe worked with a different brand in yep. the past. Yep. And then if they've been through an install, they're like, ah, I get, there's got to be a better way. And then they find Max up. And after that, I get phone calls all the time. They're like, that was the easiest install yeah. we've ever done. Yep. And the police department in Oklahoma, yeah. after the first one, they're adding three more walls. Yep. They're like, that was so easy, so cost effective. I go more cinder block, right? And they're like, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Um, but now so, we're experiencing that too. So, <laughs> so you know, you're you're judged by the company you keep. Um, up on top are some of our customers: so Deloitte, Touch, Daimler, Tencent, yeah. Lenovo, um, you know, Disney, Yum, Crown Plaza, Honda, Land Rover, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got a lot of big companies that are standardizing on Maxim, and and really, what drives it for us? We've got a really good product. We're proud of that, but it's the high level of service that we give them. And when they experience how easy it can be, yeah. um, they become customers for life. So we're going to keep working hard to do that part of it. Um, the company does a great job of giving us very reliable, easy to install product. So we'll drive in that. Um, the bottom half of the screen, the right portion are the awards. Um, I've been going to Infocom. This will be my 29th year wow. this year. And we always try to win product awards, right? Last year, we won 13 product awards. So some of them you see on the table here, there's a whole row going all the way down. But editors kept coming to the booth going, hey, we just picked that product for product of the year and stuff like that. So I don't know how we're going to beat 13 this year. When you <laughs> set the bar a little high. You know, here's the thing, though. I, when I look at other companies, companies go, hey, I, bought, I won six, I won five, I won seven. But it's all for one type of product, right? Here we're talking, you look at this. We won awards for UC products, right? Our M40. Right. We won products for digital signage. We won products for our IFP. We won products for our all-in-ones. Yeah. Those are such large, different category yeah. increases. 
the fact that we can have that high a quality of product across the entire breadth of product line that we have, you, you don't find that anywhere else. You well, really and we have a lot of competition. So yeah. we were judged pretty highly against a lot of other very good people in the marketplace. Yeah. And, and exactly. we appreciate that. So, I mean, there's just a list of companies we deal with. Um, a lot of them are global that we fulfill you know, their needs. And, and to be recognized in the industry by SCN and Commercial Integrator and Red Dot, et cetera, uh, we're really proud of that. Um, good luck to marketing this year. You have to be at 13 <laughs> awards. So the challenge is there. But, uh, you know, so I, we've been answering questions as we went along. And, and I see a red dot there. So we must have a couple more. No, we're going to have some Oh, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you have any questions, we'll, we'll stay on for a couple minutes and, and try and field anyone. But I, I'm really proud of the LED line. Uh, yeah. We have a wide breadth of product and we can meet almost every need out there. Well, you and, know. and I'll tell you what I, and once again, I, I will say this, I, I come from that UC background. So learning more and more about the DVLED, being a part of, of trade shows and, and, and open houses and stuff like that, you start to see the questions. And, and at, at more open houses that I've been to, I get a lot of people that come in for the 105, they'll come in for the View Pro. And then also they, they start looking at this and they go, wow, that's a monster mo dis display. Explain it to me. And we start talking to them about it a little bit. And then they start seeing the price and they're like, this is a product category I never really thought about before, right? This is this is the type of product that I've never really gotten to my customers before. But now that Maxo can do it, I trust you on all your other products. Right. It must be great on this, right? And then you start seeing their mind start to work and flow out. So we do have a couple questions that came yeah. in um, from Brian. On the custom side, do you partner with any mounting companies or do we make our own mounting system? That's a really good question. So we partner with outside mounting companies, and there's a couple really good ones out there. Here on the West Coast, and actually they do nationwide, uh, Advanced Mounting Design, AMD, is one of them. They made the flying mount that we used mm -hmm. at Infocom last year. Yeah. In fact, that mount is now at Borman. Yeah. Borman, Borman. I um, say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's flying right now, flying a wall in a Borman location. So we leave, the mounting part is really important. It's built correctly and, and then it's size to fit. So AMD has been really good for us, but there's a, a couple other really good. I know Draper's in the mounting uh, space now. Um, there's a couple others as well. So we lead the mounts up to the companies that do that really well. Okay. Now ours do come with the mounts to set up, but if you want to do anything- If it's a them, wall mount, yeah. any of our displays actually, if yeah. it's a wall mount, the wall mount is included yep. in the box. Yep, yep. exactly. Yep. Okay. And do we have a showroom in Dallas? So we actually work with, I have to mention Borman all day, but we actually work with, uh, we have a partner called Dobbs. Dobbs Stanford. Dobbs Stanford. Yep. Um, we can sit there and, and post there. If you take a look, it should be on our, our website. Do we, have, we might have their address on there. If not, we'll make sure we post it on our social media. Follow us on social media. We'll make sure we have Dobbs' information there because it's our next open house. Yep, on May 11th. On May 11th that I'm flying to on Tuesday yep. to go to. So Dobbs yep. has a 165-inch that yep. they put up LED. They've got our IFP product. Yep. They're going to show the 105. Yep. They, they also work. have our digital signage product yep. as well. Yep. They have so, a podium too, right? Yeah, they have the podium yeah. as well. Yeah. So, so they represent all of our our products. So yes, if you want to go go take a look at the at their their location, you want to come and see it. Reach out to us. We can definitely put you in contact with them and get that scheduled for you as well. Absolutely. So more than happy to do that. And they'll show it to you. It doesn't have to be the open house, but we happen to be doing. Oh, but I'm going to be at the open house. So they weren't. They yeah, weren't going to see Charlie in person. Go to the open house. They want to make sure that I'm not AI generated, right? I'm not really, you know, I'm actually here. <laughs> so, that was it for the questions. That's awesome. Well, hey, we want to thank everybody for, for coming today. Uh, we really appreciate the time uh, for you guys coming out. Um, oh, we have yep. to gift cards. Well, first, yeah, gift card and follow us on all our socials. Yeah. Check out our website. We have a bunch of events coming up, Max Have USA. So stay in the loop. And now for the $25 Visa gift card giveaway, Sam, pick a number between 1 and 35. Oh, the lucky number 17. Okay, we landed on... Bobby Perez. Hey, Bobby. I would hey, be um, an e Visa twenty five dollar gift card. So awesome, awesome. Look out for that. Everybody, thanks for joining us today. I hope that you found some useful information. Uh, Max Hub will jump through hoops to support you and answer your questions, take care of you. So uh, reach out to me or, or Charles or any of my team, and and we'll do our best for you. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Take Thank care. Thank you very much. Have a good day.